Hey guys, today I'm taking you to the largest machine ever built by mankind. The Large Hadron Collider in Geneva, Switzerland. This is CERN, the largest particle physics laboratory in the entire world. Covering 200 hectares, almost five times the size of Central Park in New York. But to gain access to this magical facility, I first had to obtain a few rare tickets. One minute to go in order to book a reservation at CERN. There's only a one minute time window in order to book a ticket. Between 2.30 and 2.32, there may be a few tickets available. Crazy, you're driving me nuts. Yes, here it is. Boom. Come on, come on. Yes! I got the tickets! I got the tickets! We finally made it to Switzerland. Our first destination, CERN. Which stands for the European Organization for Nuclear Research. And here are some instructions and information about the entire facility. This is the entire area and the Large Hadron Collider. That's this entire ring. We are right here at CERN. You may ask yourself, what makes this place so special? First, the Large Hadron Collider is a giant 27 kilometer underground loop full of super cooled magnets, 30 foot particle detectors and miles of accelerator tubes. The magnets in the LHC are 100,000 times more powerful than the gravitational pull of Earth and generates 100,000 times more heat than at the center of the sun. This 9 billion dollar collider complex is buried at a depth up to 175 meters. The tunnel complex allows scientists to discover the tiniest of the tiniest particles in the universe by recreating the same conditions as the Big Bang. Right, so this is a replica of the Atlas detector. Since we're not allowed to go downstairs to see the actual LHC because it's functional right now. So as you can see, it will take months to disassemble it to replace a component. <laughs> Second, CERN is the birthplace of the World Wide Web. Basically, the internet as we know it today. As my CERN t-shirt right here shows the blueprint of the internet. In 1989, under the guidance of Tim Berners-Lee, CERN began the World Wide Web project which led to the first web page in history on August 6th, 1991. All right, so we just finished the workshop at Atlas and now we're going to the workshop to build our own atomic bomb. <laughs> This is the Synchro Cyclotron, built in 1957 and was CERN's first particle accelerator, providing the first experiments in particle and nuclear physics. Now my third reason for visiting CERN, the recent discovery of the God Particle in 2013, known as the Higgs boson, which helps us understand the universe even better. That's not a moon lander, it's a particle detector. Massive and old. It was built in 1973. <laughs> And my last reason for visiting CERN, the creepiness. Some people and scientists are concerned the LHC will suck the entire galaxy into a black hole or open a doorway to another dimension. Hopefully not the one we've seen in Event Horizon. Where do we come from, mom? Where do we come from? Thanks for watching guys, this was one of my biggest dreams come true and I hope you guys learned a little bit more about CERN and particle physics. Please leave a like to help out my show and subscribe for next week's video from Switzerland. So typical, every time I get a drink the machine gets stuck. <laughs> Technological failures at CERN. <laughs>